Hi there, this is Claudine Helmuth and I'm going to be showing you today how to print and cut my retro eyeglasses kit on a personal cutting machine. Now I have the Silhouette machine so I'm going to be using the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software. This is the upgraded version of the software and this is the version that you'll need to open and print and cut SVGs. I'm going to show you what I do to set up my files for the Silhouette now to get started, I'm here in the Silhouette Studio program and I'm just going to go File, Merge and I'm going to open up each SVG of the eyeglasses. Now, if you don't have a personal cutting machine, this kit also comes with a PDF so that that way you can just print it out on your printer and then you can cut it out by hand as well. So now I've got all of my little SVG files here lined up and I need to set the size of my paper. So I'm going to go over here to my page settings and choose letter because that's the size I'm using and portrait is okay. So I'll just move these on to here. And then I want to go ahead and set my registration marks. So here I click this button up here and then I just click show registration marks. Now you want to make sure you don't have any images covering up the registration marks and just to be on the safe side I'm going to scooch that one down and scooch that one up there. Make sure everything is in there and if you wanted to you could make these bigger or smaller at this point by clicking on them holding the shift key to keep everything in proportion and then dragging it if you want to make it bigger or smaller. I'll just set it back to its original size there. So now we want to go to the cutting window and we have to set up the cut lines. Now I have hand drawn all the cut lines on here for you, but you can't see them just yet. So first we are going to just select all of them and we're going to select the cut lines. Now you can see over here, since I pressed that, now you can see where all the cut lines are going to show up, but there's this big box around each of them, and that's the outside of the main image that's underneath all of the cut lines. So to get rid of that, so that that way our machine isn't cutting lines unnecessarily, we need to ungroup. So I'm just going to click on this, and I'm going to right click and click ungroup. And I'm going to repeat that until the word ungroup goes like a light gray. And then there you can see I'm done ungrouping that. So I'll go ahead and do these ones as well. And then ungroup usually takes about three times. And then at this point you don't want to move anything because if anything shifts outside of the lines it won't cut accurately. So now we want to unselect this to be cut. So all I've done is selected the main box around the image and then I'm just going to click no cut. And same here, no cut. And same here. So now we've got our cutting file all set up. It also has the perforation lines for folding there as well. So now it's ready to send to the printer so that that way we can print and cut. So I click this button over here which is send to silhouette so it will give me the directions to print and cut. You could just go ahead and print it as well but I find this easier because it takes me step by step. So then here I'm just going to click here to print and follow these directions. So now that it has printed in my printer and you can see here the registration marks that have printed and that's what's going to tell the machine where to cut. This is the paper that I like to use to print on. It's just a really great weight of paper and it's also really inexpensive as well. The next step is we need to apply our paper to our mat. So I'm using the Silhouette machine so this is what my mat looks like and you want to put it in the upper corner so that it mimics what it looks like on your screen as well. And because the mat is sticky, it is going to stay on while it's cutting. So now we're ready to go over to the cutter and tell the cutter to go ahead and make our eyeglasses. 
So first you're gonna wanna feed your paper into the machine. So I've got it all lined up and then I just press enter. So then I'm just going to press continue. And then at this point, you want to tell it to detect the registration marks automatically so that your machine will go around and find all of these registration marks that are here. And then you get a window like this that pops up with the next couple of steps. And here's where you can change your cardstock settings. I have plain cardstock in there and it tells me my blade settings and all of that. And then you're ready to tell your machine to cut. And now I have released the mat from my machine and everything is all cut out. And you can see here, you can just peel off the paper. This is the magic part of having a cutting machine. It is so exciting that it's all cut out. And if you have any little pieces, the little spatulas come in handy to just remove. And now they are ready to put together and they go together so quickly. And you can see here what a great cut you get. Very nice, close to the eyeglasses, no extra color. I did add a little bleed to the files so that way because every printer and cutter cuts very slightly differently. So then that way you will get a perfect cut no matter what. And then all we do, just add a little bit of tape to the tabs here. So tab B goes on that side and tab A goes on that side there. Now you've got three pairs of super cute retro glasses that are perfect for parties and photo props.